This is a package.zip file, and this is a package.result. What is the difference? Package.zip is a manifest. It describes what you want. For example, think of the shopping list you take to the grocery store. It lists the items you plan to buy, but not the exact brands, sizes, or prices. Package.zip is that shopping list. It lists your package name, platforms, products, targets, and dependency rules, but not the exact version you will get. In contrast, package.result is the log file. It records what you actually got. If we go back to the grocery store example, package.result is the actual receipt you get after the checkout. It lists exactly what was purchased, names, brands, sizes, prices, discounts. There's no ambiguity here. Package.result pins the exact version and revision hash of every dependency. This helps Xcode to identify the exact package versions it needs to reload when it's needed. Now, here comes the question. Should I commit package.result or add it to my git ignore? Well, the answer is... It depends. It depends on what you need, but there is a rule of thumb. If you are developing an app with a group of people, at work or in an open source project, you should include package.result in your commit. Why? Because this ensures your teammates and CI pipeline deterministically load the exact dependency versions needed to build the project. Not committing it can cause conflicts over which exact versions Xcode should result, leading to build failures or unexpected upgrades you didn't intend. In fact, Apple recommends that you commit package.result for apps all the time. However, there are situations where you might choose not to commit. For example, if you are developing a public library, it's better not to commit package.result and let consumers resolve versions within your package.set rules. This avoids over-constraining downstream projects. Or if your package.sif uses conditional dependencies by platform, for example, if macOS or Linux, committing package.result can cause issues when switching platforms. The pinned set may be invalid for the new environment. Or simply, your team may prefer a not pinning policy to keep dependency updates flexible and reduce churn in PRs. In any case, align with your team on a clear, consistent strategy that fits your workflow. Either way, how can you create a package result manually? You can go to Xcode menu in File, Packages, and click in Result, or using Swift Package Result command in the terminal. Similarly, if you package.swift changed and you want to update package.result, you can go to Xcode menu again in File, Packages, and click in Update, or using Swift Package Update command. Now tell me, what do you think about those package files? I would like to read your strategy in the comments down below. Remember, my name is Pete, and this, this is Ifa Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.